Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech. Welcome to our Fine Americas blog sponsored by Fine Americas and eGrow. Today we're going to be talking about PGRs on perennials with an emphasis on configure use on summer hosta. So hosta production is typically done by planting either tissue culture plants, liners, or bare root divisions usually during the early spring or early summer. And during this early summer we can actually get the plants established and start bulking those up, both the roots and the shoots, during those long days of summer. Hosta really likes to grow under long days. Then we get into fall dormancy and then we have a spring flush and then steady growth again resumes after we reach long days in the spring. What this does is give us multiple opportunities to make configure applications to increase branching or offset production. So we did two research trials, one at Riverbend Nursery here near us in Reiner, Virginia. This was basically eight cultivars spring planted from bare root divisions pretty early in the spring and we actually treated pre pretty early in the spring. On April 19th in the cold frame we were getting lots of uh, shoot growth. We used high rates because at this time we were still just using a single application and we'll talk about that later. So we used four rates and we counted the offsets at 30 and 60 days after that treatment. Then here at Virginia Tech, we did three other cultivars. Again, they were spring planted a little later, bare root divisions, but our application was made June 7th in the cold frame, so a good bit later after long days and the plants had resumed a steady growth. Our offsets were counted at four, six, eight, and 10 weeks after treatment. So our trial at River Bend really didn't give us very good results. We had basically no response to the configure application. There was no phytotoxicity, but we also had no increase in the number of offsets, even with the 6,000 part per million application. There are two pictures here of Hosta elegans and one of uh, Francis Williams. And you can see we had a little bit of variability in growth, but we had no differences in the number of offsets. And we do believe that part of the reason for this is although we had active shoot growth at the time of the application, we don't think our root growth had caught up with that. And the literature does say that in order to get a good response to a configure application or benzyl adenine application, you do need to have good root growth, active root growth. So we just think that this application was too early to give us a good response. And the Virginia Tech trials kind of bear that out. We did make these applications later in early June. And for our Hosta Liberty, you can see that configure increased the number of basal branches in all applications. But that highest rate, that 6,000 part per million, did cause excessive phytotoxicity that persisted again here through eight weeks after application. Great Expectations was responsive to configure as well, but really needed that 3,000 part per million to give us a doubling of the number of branches or offsets. Very little phyto on this crop as well. And then Ginkgo Craig also was very responsive to all of the applications. Any of the applications gave us a doubling of the number of basal branches. And again, very little phyto with this crop. Remember that we were doing single applications here. For uh, multiple applications, which is what we recommend, you would definitely want to lower these rates. So in summary, for application of configure to summer planted hosta, you want to apply the configure to actively growing shoots with actively growing roots. So you need to wait until you've got some establishment there. Application windows are basically at that first flush that may be in the spring if the crop was planted the previous year or two to four weeks after potting when you know that you've got some active root growth going as well. And then of course under long days basically throughout the summer is a very good time to be applying configure up until the time they actually cease growth in the summer. We want to use multiple spray applications and you'll want to make those applications at two to three week intervals throughout the summer and again in the next spring after that spring flush. So we have multiple windows and Hosta is extremely responsive. A very wide range of cultivars have been evaluated and are very responsive to configure. So thanks again to Fine Americas and eGrow and good luck with your summer Hosta. Have a great day.